And God spake all these words, saying, mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. out of the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, mm -hmm. and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord shall, will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God, and it... Thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. That sounds like peace to me. So let's go to Ecclesiastic 12. And we're going to read two verses there. Go ahead, my brother, verse 13 and 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear God, keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All for right. God shall bring every work into judgment, and every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And that's what we're going to see today in this class here. He's going to bring everything into judgment, all right? Let's go to um, Revelation 22, and we're going to read two verses there. Verses 14 and 15. Y'all can hear me? Yeah. All right, all right. Go ahead, my brother. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Mm -hmm. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. That's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to divide the goat from the lamb, right? Amen. All right, all right. So, um, with no further ado, like I said, this lesson here is a prophet like unto Moses. And we're going to see about this. Let's go to Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomy 18, and we're going to pick it up at verse... 13. All right, seems like everybody is there. Go ahead, my brother, read it. Verse 13. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Mm hmm. For these nations which thou shalt possess hearkened unto observers of times 
and unto diviners. So God has warned them of future when they come into the land. Go ahead. But as for thee, the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee so to do. Mm -hmm. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me. So he's going to raise up a prophet amongst the brethren, me and them brothers, the Israelites, like unto Moses. Go ahead. And unto him ye shall hearken. And you, you're supposed to hearken unto this prophet. Go ahead. According to all that thou desirest of the Lord thy God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see his great fire anymore that I die not. So I don't know how people claim to seeing God or seeing, the, seeing him somewhere, you know, in the house somewhere. But these people are a fear of God. They really are. So they don't want to um, see God just tell us what to do. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto me, mm -hmm. they have well spoken that which they have spoken. Mm -hmm. I will raise them up. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee. Mm -hmm. And I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Yes, indeed, he will destroy you. So we're going to look at this prophet. Some may say, the um, whole Hebrews or the Edomites might say, Joshua is this prophet. But if Joshua was that prophet, Moses would have told us so. So obviously, those, those Edomites are wrong when they say that um, Joshua is this prophet that is like unto Moses. So some may say it's, it's Elijah. Some may say it's John the Baptist. Some may say it might be Muhammad. But let's see what the book say about this prophet. Amen. Right? And then, um, let's go to, um, first let's look at Moses. Let's go to Exodus, the first chapter, and how Moses got into Egypt. All right, go ahead. Exodus 1, and we're going to read verse 1. Go ahead, my brother. Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came in, into Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob. Mm -hmm. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali. Oh, oh you got to skip, skip down to five. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls. 70 souls. That's what went in. All right, go ahead. For Joseph, Joseph was in Egypt already. Mm -hmm. And Joseph died, and all his brethren, and all that generation. Mm -hmm. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and waxed exceeding, great, exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. It was filled with them, just like today. The Israelites are all over this earth, people. Go ahead. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which mm -hmm. knew not Joseph. Mm -hmm. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. And this is like this today. Some of these kings are looking at, hey, man, Israel is getting a little too much around here. All right, go ahead. Come on. Let us deal wisely with them, mm -hmm. lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out, out, when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And that's happening today too. Yeah, go ahead. And so get them up out of the land. Therefore they set, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burden. Mm -hmm. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python, and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. They was grieved because they're getting a little too much. Go ahead. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. Mm -hmm. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and wow. mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. Mm -hmm. All their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. Mm -hmm. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives of the which name of the one was Shiphrah. Mm -hmm. And the name of the other, Pua. And he said, when ye, when, when ye do of the office of the midwife, 
to a Hebrew Hebrew women to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools. If it be a son, then ye shall kill him. So this seems like a form of birth control they they instituting. So it's the same thing like today. They probably put, they're putting guns out there, killing each other, all sort of stuff going on out Amen. there. Police killing us, all kind of stuff. Go ahead. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Mm-hmm. But the midwives feared God and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men alive, men children alive. That's right. And the so king they, of Egypt, because they fear God, that's the reason why. Amen. So even though they make a law today saying, you know, kill all your sons, you, you ain't going to do that, right? So go ahead. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives, and he said unto them, Why have ye done this thing, and have saved the men children alive? Mm-hmm. And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women. Mm-mm, we for not. They, go ahead. For they are lively. Yeah, real lively. Go ahead. And are delivered, are delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. Mm-hmm. Therefore, God dwelt, with, dwelt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very mighty. So that's one thing Israel will do. The more, afflict, the more you afflict them, the more children they're going to have. All right? You know that. Amen. Go ahead. Where are we at? 21. 21. Go ahead, my brother. Keep reading. And it came to pass, because the midwives feared God, that he made them houses. And Pharaoh charged all of his people, saying, Every son that is born, ye shall cast into the river, and every daughter ye shall save alive. So let's um, go, skip down. Let's go to, um, Egypt means black. All right? And, and the children of Israel was amongst a black nation, just like them. So let's um, go to Exodus, the second chapter, and read there, brother. Exodus is, and start at verse 1. Go ahead, my friend. And there went a man of the house of Levi, mm-hmm. and took to wife a daughter of Levi. And the women conceived and bare a son, and when she saw him that he was a goodly child, she hid him, th- she hid him for three months. So now you see that Moses is a Levite. Go ahead. And when she could not longer hide him, mm-hmm. she took for him an ark of, of uh, bulrushes and daubed it with slime, and, and, and with pitch, and put the child therein. Mm-hmm. And she laid it in the flags by the river brink, river's brink. Mm-hmm. And, his, and his sister stood afar off to wit what would be done in him. Mm-hmm. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river, and her maidens walked along by the riverside. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. And this, when I was little, this is where we go um, shower to. We go to the riverside. And go shower when we would let her. So it's, 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 it's the same thing. Go ahead. And when she had opened it, mm-hmm. she saw the child. Mm-hmm. And behold, the babe wept. Mm-hmm. And she had compassion on him and said, this is one of the Hebrews' children. This is one because of what? The circumcision, right? Amen. Go ahead. Then said his sister, sister to Pharaoh. And this is real Pharaoh's clever. Daughter. This is real clever. The sister was there. Go ahead. Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women, Mm -hmm. that she may nurse the child for thee? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the maid went and called the child's mother. And and Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Mm -hmm. Take this child away and nurse it for me. Nurse it for me. Go ahead. And I will give thee thy wages. And the woman took the child and nursed it. Mm -hmm. And the child grew. And she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she, she called his name Moses, she said, because I drew him out of the water. All right, stop right there. So um, Egypt, like I said, means black. And biblically, biblically, it means Miseram. That's the name, a biblical name for Egypt. But let's go to, uh, let's see uh, the same thing that happened, took place in Matthew, the second chapter. Let's go look at Matthew, the second chapter. And see, the same thing happened, similar happened to the Messiah. We know it's the Messiah, but we, as for, for the newcomers here, they might not know it's the Messiah. So you got to bear with them, okay? Go ahead, my brother. Matthew, the second chapter. 
And we're going to pick it up at verse 1 to 3, and then we're going to do skipping. Go ahead, my brother. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Wise men. So there's not a number there. It's not three. We don't know. It could be two. It could be five. We don't know. Go ahead. Saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Mm -hmm. We have seen his star in the east. This star is an angel, people. Go ahead. And are come to worship him. Mm -hmm. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. So Herod is always troubled by, by uh, because he killed his own siblings, right? He always troubled with people trying to take his throne. Go ahead. Verse 4, and when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. Mm -hmm. They said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. This is written, where is it written? It's written in Exodus, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of, Ju uh, in the land of Judah, art not, that, art not the least among the princes of Judah. Mm -hmm. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. And this is written in, in, in Isaiah. Go ahead. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star, the star appeared. Mm -hmm. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. So you think that's true? He really want to worship Jesus? No, that's not true. He don't want to do that. He want to kill him. Go ahead. And when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them. Mm -hmm. till it came and stood over where, they, uh, where the young child was. Mm -hmm. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with the exceeding great joy. And when they were come, up, come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Mm -hmm. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. Mm -hmm. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Mm -hmm. And when they departed, when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, "Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into flee into Egypt and be there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him." So God is with with um with Joseph and Mary. So to save this child, they had to flee, he had to, they had to flee into Egypt also. Same thing, Moses had to go hide in the house of Pharaoh, right, which in his Egypt. Go ahead. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. Mm -hmm. And was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, out of Egypt have I called my son. So the same thing happened to um, Pharaoh. Pharaoh also had to wait till those, till those uh, um, kings die out because Pharaoh had, had smitten um, an Egyptian and he, he flee out of Egypt. And the same thing is going on here. Same thing is proceeding here. Go ahead. Then Herod, when he saw that he, he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth mm -hmm. and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently in, inquired of the wise men. Yeah, the same thing happened in, in uh, Moses' generation. Moses' generation, he was the only um, baby alive at that time. And the same thing here in Bethlehem, Judea, um, the same thing happened when, when Herod commanded to kill all the, the, the two year children, two years and under. Same thing happened. So it's, it's similar to Moses. All right, let's go to, um, let's go to um, John because we want to see the, this. Um, we know we established that this is Jesus. So let's go and see in John, the first chapter and verse 9. Let's let the, um, the prophet tell us that too also. John, the first chapter. So we're going to pick it up at verse 19.
John, the first chapter, and pick it up at verse 19. All right, this is John the Baptist. Um, like I say, he's not, he's not one of the prophets. We're going to see, he's going to tell you. He's going to tell you himself. Go ahead, let's read, man. Go ahead. And this is the record of John. Mm -hmm. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? So they sent because they know from reading the prophet, they know a prophet, a prophet is supposed to come, come, come along, which is a prophet like unto Moses. But go ahead. And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. I'm not the Christ. So they knew that it's the anointed one supposed to come. Go ahead. And they asked him, what then? Art thou Elijah? Mm -hmm. And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? Art thou that prophet? And he answered, no. Because remember, John the Baptist is a prophet. But he asked him, art thou that prophet? So it's a, it, this is a different prophet. And even um, John the Baptist know what they're talking about. Go ahead. Then said they unto him, mm -hmm. Who art thou, mm -hmm. that we may give an answer to them that sent us? Mm -hmm. What sayest thou of thyself? And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. We're going to see this. This has been prophesied in Isaiah. We're going to read about it, about the one that's crying in the wilderness. Make, make, the, way, make the way straight. Go ahead. And they which were sent were the Pharisees, mm -hmm. or of the Pharisees. And they asked him, and he said unto them, mm -hmm. Why baptize thou then, if thou be not th that Christ, nor Elijah, neither that prophet? Mm -hmm. John answered them, saying, It I seems like they knew that you got to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Seems like. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I baptize with water, mm -hmm. but he that standeth one among you, whom ye know not, he it is, who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes, whose shoes latch. I am not worthy to unloose. Mm -hmm. These things were done in Beth, in uh, Bethbara, beyond Jordan, where John was baptized. Mm -hmm. The next day, John sees Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. So he said, The Lamb of God will take away the sin of the world. Go ahead. This is he of whom I said, After, after me cometh the man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. He was before me. So this is already telling you he is God, right? How could he be before him when he came before the Messiah, right? Amen. So that's what they already know. They already know what's going on. Go ahead. And I knew him not, mm -hmm. but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I come baptizing with water. So he, he know he's going to be made manifest amongst the brethren. Right? Go ahead. And John bear record saying, mm -hmm. I saw the spirit des descending from heaven like a dove and it abode upon him. Mm -hmm. And I knew him not, but he, he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, upon whom thou shalt see the spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. This is the Son of God. Go ahead. Again, the next day, day after John stood and two of his disciples mm -hmm. and looking upon Jesus as he walked he said behold the Lamb of God so this is more than one witnesses right go ahead and the two disciples heard him speak and they followed Jesus mm -hmm. then Jesus turned and saw them following and said unto them what seek ye what are you, what are you looking for go ahead and they said unto him rabbi which is to say being interpreted master. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to be called rabbi in these days, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Where dwellest thou? And he said unto them, come and see. Mm -hmm. They came and saw where, where he dwelt and abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. Mm -hmm. One of the two which heard, which heard John speak and follow him was Andrew, Simon, uh, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. Mm -hmm. he, first, he first findeth his own brother Simon and said unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. Look how much witness you have in here. Go ahead. And he brought him to Jesus, and when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. 
Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone. Mm -hmm. The day following, Jesus would go forth into Galilee and find his Philip and say unto him, follow me. Follow me. Go ahead. Now, Philip was, was of Beth Bethsaida, the city of, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. So you, you, you need to show your Muslim brothers this. <laughs> okay, go ahead. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good come out of, out of Nazareth? Mm -hmm. And Philip said unto him, Come and see. Yeah, and it's, been, it's, been, it's been knowing the fact that a lot of Good singers, a lot of good good people come out of the ghetto, right? Amen. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no God. Mm -hmm. There is no sin or no deceit in his mouth. Go ahead. 48. Nathaniel well, said well, unto well. him, Which whence, whence knowest thou me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou was under the fig tree, I saw thee. Mm -hmm. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. That's right. Let's stop right there. Let's go to, um, let's go to um, Isaiah 40. Because we say one that cried in the wilderness. That was John the Baptist was crying. Let's see what he, what he was saying. But all this was prophesied before even John the Baptist was born. Let's pick it up at um, verse 1, my brother. Isaiah 40 and verse 1. Go ahead, my brother, read. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Mm -hmm. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her, that, that, that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. Mm -hmm. For she has received of the Lord's hand double for all of her sins. That's right. We received double, Israel. Go ahead. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. For our God. Jesus is our God, people. Go ahead. Every valley shall be exalted, mm -hmm. and every mountain and hill shall be made low, mm -hmm. and the crooked shall be made straight. Now, we're going to see that in Revelation, right? Go ahead. And the rough places plain. Mm -hmm. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. I'll show you it in Revelation when we get there. Go ahead. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Mm -hmm. the, vo the voice said, cry. And he said, what, what shall I cry? Mm -hmm. All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. That's what we are, people. We like grass, people. We fade away. And afterwards, we go to the dust. All right? Amen. Go ahead. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, mm -hmm. because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Mm -hmm. Surely the people is grass. Mm -hmm. The grass withereth, the, floor, the flower fadeth. Mm -hmm. But the word of our God shall stand forever. It shall stand forever, people. Go ahead. O Zion, that thou bringest good tidings, get thee up into, into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that thou bringest good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift, lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, behold, your God. Your what? Your God. Your God. Go ahead. Behold the Lord. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, mm -hmm. and his arms shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. Let's go to Revelation and see his reward. Who is, who is it talking about? Because we want to tie everything together. We don't want to miss out nothing. Because when you go stand before, when somebody asks you this question, you should be able to show them where is that. So I'm going to go through it thoroughly today to show you, so you you have a good example to show some, someone else. Let's go to Revelation 22 and pick it up at verse 12. Go ahead, my brother. And behold, I come quickly, mm -hmm. and my reward is with me, mm -hmm. to give every man according to his work shall be. Mm -hmm. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Yes, that's Jesus, my people. But let's go to... Um, Let's go to Isaiah 48, because 
let's show you that he was indeed sent by the Father. He was sent by the Father. And Je Jesus himself going to say it. Isaiah 48 and verse 16. One verse. Go ahead, my brother. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. Mm -hmm. From the time that it was, there am I. Mm -hmm. That's now, the same person that was speaking in Revelation. Go ahead. And now the Lord God and his spirit have sent me. The Lord God is the Father. have sent me. Right? Let's look at that real quick. Let's go to um, John the 5. John chapter 5. establishing that Jesus is indeed the prophet like unto Moses. John 5 and verse 30, 30, 32 to 40. Go ahead, my brother. There is another that beareth witness of me, mm -hmm. and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. So who is the other? That's the father, people. Go ahead. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. Mm -hmm. But I receive not testimony from man. Mm -hmm. But these things I say, that ye might be saved. That ye might be saved. Remember, you got to hear this prophet. And if you don't hear this prophet, you're going to be destroyed. Go ahead. He was a burning mm -hmm. and a shining light, mm -hmm. and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. Mm -hmm. But I have greater witness than that of John, mm -hmm. for the works which the Father have given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. The Father has sent me out of Jesus' own mouth, say that the Father has sent me. Go ahead. And the Father himself which has sent me, mm -hmm. has borne witness of me. Mm -hmm. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. Mm -hmm. And ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he has sent, him ye believe it not. So that's what it says. And, and um, if you don't believe this prophet, you're going to be destroyed, people. Go ahead. Search the scriptures. Mm -hmm. For in them ye think ye have eternal life. Mm -hmm. And they are they which testify of me. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to search the scriptures. We're going to see. We're going to verify that this is the prophet like unto Moses indeed. Go ahead. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. That's right. That's right. Let's go to, um, because it says he's going to put his word in his mouth. So let's go to John, the eighth chapter, and see that Jesus said this himself. Don't let people fool you, people. This is all in the book. All right. Uh, John, the 8th chapter, and verse 26 to 32. 26. All right, my brother, go ahead. I have many things to say in the judge of you, mm -hmm. but he that sent me is true. Mm -hmm. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake, spake to them of the Father. Mm -hmm. So they don't even understand. Even today, some people don't understand there is two God. Right? Go ahead. Then said Jesus unto them, mm -hmm. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, mm -hmm. and that I do nothing of myself, but as my father had taught me, I speak these things. So that's what whatever his father told him or put the words in his mouth, that's what he says to you. Right? Go ahead. And he that sent me is with me. Mm -hmm. The father have not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. The things that please him. Go ahead. Go ahead. And as he spake these words, many believed on him. Mm -hmm. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, mm -hmm. then are ye my disciples indeed. Mm -hmm. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make, make you free. free. All right. Let's go, to, let's go back to Exodus and look at Moses. Um, go ahead and put up that first slide, my brother. Put up the first slide. 
there. We're going to Exodus, the third chapter. Exodus, the third chapter. Remember, um, Moses slew an, uh, an Egyptian, and then he flee to um, Midian. Midian, that's where he met Zipporah, right? Jethro, Jethro um, daughter by the well when he was um, when she was going there to get water for her flock, and um, and then he they, they introduce him to Jethro, and that's when um, Jethro gave him his uh, his daughter to wife, and Moses stayed there for a minute until the Lord called him, and then he went out back to Egypt to um, bring his people because the people were crying out to the Lord and, they, and the Lord heard them. But let's go to Exodus. Got that slide there. See Midian right there? And that's where they were in Gosha up there. Saka and Ramsey and those places. That's where they were. That's, that's the um, lower Egypt and this is the upper part of Egypt. See Gosha? So it's shorter to go this way to the wilderness. To the wilderness right there. The, the wilderness is going to be right here, my people. Right here. This is where Mount Sinai. This is Saudi Arabia. This is Saudi Arabia. This is where the wilderness is going to be. All right. Not, not this Sinai, but the Sinai over here, okay? So, um, but look how when Moses, you're going to see how Moses went from there. From media, he went this way and went to back to Egypt, right? Um, all right. Let me get my page here for Exodus 3. Go ahead, my brother. Now yeah. Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, mm -hmm. the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. So that's where Horeb is, people. Oh, they moved the slide. Keep the slide... Don't move this life, please. Okay, we're going to read to five. Okay, go ahead. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. Mm -hmm. And he looked and, be, he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. The bush was not consumed, people. This, this, is, uh, this is like how the lake of fire going to be, right? You burn it and you ain't consumed, <laughs> right? Go ahead. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, mm -hmm. why the bush is not burnt. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, unto, he said here am I. Mm -hmm. And he said, draw not thy tither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. So this ain't holy ground here, people. So you don't have to take your shoes off, okay? <laughs> all right? Because we got the restroom there. We got all kind of stuff going on around here. So this ain't the holy, holy, like, you know, like people may claim. You go to some churches, they say, go ahead and take your shoes off. You ain't the holy. I'm like, bro, I don't know what you did last night. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but anyway. But um, this, this, God spake to the angel. It's just like a telephone. You get a telephone, the angel be the telephone, and you could hear God's voice through the angel. Right? That's how this, this technology works, people. All right, go ahead. Verse 6. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, mm -hmm. the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. You, you, what verse are you on? 7. Seven. Let's skip down to, um, let's go to uh, Exodus, the fourth chapter. Exodus, the fourth chapter. And we're going to read, pick it up at verse 10. Okay. All right, you there? Go ahead, read. And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, mm -hmm. I am not eloquent. Neither heretofore nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. I feel the same way. I'm not eloquent. <laughs> Go ahead. 
But I am slow of speech, mm -hmm. and I am slow of tongue. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? Yeah. Or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? So you see, sometimes people born deaf, blind, it come from the Lord, people. You know? So go ahead. Now therefore, I will be with thy mouth, mm -hmm. and teach thee what thou shalt say. Mm -hmm. And he said, O my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. That thou will send. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, skip, Is not Aaron skip, skip the down. Le where, where you at now? 14. 14. Okay, go ahead. The anger of, anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, mm -hmm. and he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. I know he can speak well. Go ahead. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee, and when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him and put, put words in his mouth, and I will be with thy mouth and with his mouth and will teach you what he shall do. And that, that the same thing happened when we read just, just in um, John the 8th chapter. The Lord's going to put his word in, in Jesus' mouth, and he's going to speak what thus say the Lord. Amen. Right? What verse, what verse you on? Verse 16. Right? 16, go ahead. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people. Mm -hmm. And he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth. And thou shalt be to him instead of God. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt take his rod in thine hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. Skip down to 19, go ahead. And the Lord said unto Moses in, in Midian, Go, return into Egypt, for all the men are dead which sought thy life. So that's happened to Jesus, Jesus too. It, it told the parents, return. For Herod was was dead, so you can return back to um, to um, Israel, right? Skip. Uh, let's go to Exodus seven. Exodus seven. Exodus seven. We're gonna read one to five, and then we're gonna do some skipping. All right, go ahead, my brother. Pick it up at verse 1, 1 to 5. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, mm -hmm. and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh that he send the children of Israel out of his land. Mm -hmm. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart. He's going to harden Pharaoh's heart. That's what's going to happen in the latter day, people. Even though... All these plagues going to come upon this world. A lot of people still going to harden their heart. It's like, why God going to do such a thing, kill us? <laughs> and they're just going to harden their heart. and harden. But it's because of sin, people. It's because of sin. Go ahead. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine armies, and my people, the, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. And the same thing we're going we to see. He's going to put his hand on this world. You know, Egypt is actually describing what's going to take place in the future. The world event. Right? Go ahead. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch forth mine hand upon Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. Mm, and that's what he's going to bring out, the saints, right? Go ahead. And Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded them, so did they. And Moses was fourscore years old, and Aaron fourscore and three years old when they spake unto Pharaoh. Skip down to 14. And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hard. Mm -hmm. He refuses to let the people go. Mm-hmm. Get thee unto Pharaoh in the morning. Lo, he goeth out unto the, unto the water, and thou shalt stand by the river's brink against, against he come. And the rod which was turned to a serpent shalt thou take in thine hand. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews has sent me unto thee, mm -hmm. saying, Let my people go. So you, you got to say it like that because you got to understand how the Egyptian think. That's why God said, I got um, the, the Hebrew, the God of the Hebrews, because they have their gods, you know.
So that's, what, that's the reason why God is saying, say unto him, the God of the Hebrews is sent unto thee. Go ahead. Saying, let thy people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, hitherto thou wouldest not hear. So they could serve thee in the wilderness. Put up that, that there, my brother. Put up the second one. All right. Go ahead, my brother. Verse 17. Thus saith the Lord, in this thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters which are in the river. Mm -hmm. They shall be returned to blood. They, they shall what? be turned to blood. They're going to turn to blood, people. Skip down to um, 20. And Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded. And he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants. Mm -hmm. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Oh. And the fish that was in the river died and the river stank. And the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river. And there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. All the land of Egypt. That's the first plague, right? Right? See right there, that's the first plague. All right, go ahead. And the magician. Oh, sorry, sorry, skip. Where you, where you at? Go 22. First. 22, go ahead. And the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantment. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Neither did he hearken unto them as the Lord had said. It's a reason why um, God is keep saying Pharaoh's heart is hardened. This is what exactly going to happen in the future, people. A lot of people's hearts are going to be hardened. Okay, let's go to Exodus, the 8th. Chapter. Exodus the eighth chapter. We're moving along, people. We got a long way to go, but we're moving along. <laughs> um, so now we're gonna look at the second plague, right? Because the first plague, the it it happened to the entire Egypt, the entire Egypt, even the Israelites, right? Go ahead. Exodus um, 8, verse 1 to 3. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Mm -hmm. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all thy borders with frogs. With what? With frogs. With frogs. Go ahead. And the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, mm -hmm. which shall go up and come into thine house, and into thy bed chamber, mm, and man, upon thy bed. They ain't going to be nice. That, that time, they ain't going to be nice, people. <laughs> Frog coming up in your bed. I could see them women already. Oh, they're going to be acting. You know what I'm saying? Them little girls and everybody. I see all y'all. Some, some men, too. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And into the house of thy servants, and upon thy people, and into thine ovens and into thine kneading Ooh, into troughs. Into the oven, you open up the oven to go bake something, and there, <laughs> there come out frogs. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> skip down to verse 6, right? And Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, mm -hmm. and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. The what? The whole land of Egypt. This is going to happen in the future, people. That's why, we gonna, that's why I'm, I'm putting this lesson forward, because... We have to be mindful of when that time come around because we got to make it to the wilderness, people. Amen. Right? Go ahead. Verse 7. And the mag magicians did so with their enchantments and brought up frogs upon the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs mm -hmm. from me mm -hmm. and from my people, and I will let the people go that they may do sacrifice unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And Moses said unto Pharaoh, Glory over me. When shall I entreat for thee and for thy servants mm -hmm. and for thy people to destroy the frogs from thee and thy houses, that they may, they, they, that they may remain in the river only? Skip down to um, verse 13. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses, and the frogs died out of the houses, out of the villages, and out of the field. Mm -hmm. They gathered them together upon heaps, and the land stink. What? The land stink. So you got some funny smell in the world, people. Go ahead. And when Pharaoh saw that there was respite, he hardened his heart and hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. Mm -hmm. 
And the Lord said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thy rod and smite the dust of the land, that it may, be, that it may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt. So you see the third. This is the third plague. This is all of Egypt, people, even the Israelites. This going to befall this befall the Israelites also. But after that, it's just going to be the uh, Egyptian only, the upper part of Egypt only. Right? We're going to see that in the future too. Go ahead, my brother, read. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. And they did so, for Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and smote the dust of the earth, and it became lice in man mm -hmm. and in beasts. And all the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Egypt. So you can imagine lice in your head and your head, all over your body and your clothes. Uh -huh. Oh, man, that's bad. Go ahead. And the magicians did so with their enchantments to bring forth lights. Mm -hmm. But they could not. They could not. Go ahead. So there were lice upon man and upon beast. You know why they couldn't do it, because they keep scratching. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're busy scratching. <laughs> but go ahead. Then the verse 19, uh -huh. then the magician said unto Pharaoh, mm. this is the finger of God. Oh, man, this is God. This is God Almighty. Go ahead. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses, rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh. Lo, he cometh forth to the water and say unto him, thus saith the Lord, let my people go that they may serve me. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Else if thou wilt not let my people go, I will send swarms of flies upon thee and upon thy servants and upon thy people and into thy houses and the houses of the Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies and also ground whereupon they are. So you see this is going to be in Egypt only, the house of the Egyptians only. And this we're going to see in the future also. Uh, what verse you on? 22. 22, go ahead. And I will sever in that day the land of Goshen. Mm, Goshen. In, in I show you the land of Goshen. That's where the children of Israel dwell. You know, the, it was it's fertile there where they are because there is what the production. This is where the work happens, right? So go ahead. In which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there, to it, to the end that thou mayest know that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth. Mm -hmm. And I will put a division between my people and thy people. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow shall this sign be. Tomorrow shall this sign be. Go ahead. And the Lord did so. And there, were, there, there came a grievous swarm of flies into the house of Pharaoh mm -hmm. and into his servants' houses and to all the lands of Egypt. The land was corrupted by reason of the swarm of flies. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh called for Moses and for Aaron and said, Go ye. Sacrifice to your God in the land. So he didn't, he didn't waste no time. He didn't say, well, hey, Pharaoh, go, 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 take your people. This is too much for me, huh? Go ahead. And Moses said, it is not meat so to do, mm -hmm. for we shall sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians to the Lord our God. Mm -hmm. And lo, shall we sacrifice the abominations of the Egyptians before their eyes, and will they not stone us? Mm -hmm. We will, go three, we will go three days' journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God as he shall command us. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go, that ye may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only ye shall not go very far away and treat for Man, me. this guy is tricky, ain't he? You're going to let this go, and then you ain't going to let us go. What, what, are you, what are you doing, Pharaoh? Right. What, what verse you on? 29. 29. Go, keep reading. 29, skip down to 30. And Moses went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses, and he removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people, and there remained not one. There remained not one. So when God removed a plague, there remained not one. All right? That, that God wants you to know that. God wants you to know that. Thank mm -hmm. you.